then uh, <clears throat> first of all uh, i will do a brief introduction uh, regarding the things which we have discussed I think uh, you can see the screen now. Okay. I think uh, you can see the screen now. This is the first first lecture, and uh, under this lecture, we have discussed the introduction part. What is uh, product designing and its introduction? All the, uh, these things we discuss and. Uh, you have given some assignments as well and references. So I'm not going to discuss these things uh, in detail. So if you have questions, you can ask. I think uh, there are some, uh, we use some examples. And, uh, this is an important product life cycle. Uh, there are uh, interaction phase, growth phase, maturity phase, and likewise there are several phases and I think I have given some examples for this uh, to explain this graph and why do we need uh, successful new product development it is actually a critical one we have discussed it is a high uh, a little bit expensive one but uh, we, we need to do uh, such new product development uh, to sustain the market so and uh, there are some reasons for failures of new product development as we discussed and uh, the very good example is we I have given some examples uh, out of that uh, what happened to the company we discussed and Coca-Cola and Kick Cola story we discussed. So uh, with those examples I think you are able to you are in a position to understand why do we need uh, failures of uh, reasons for failures. And uh, there are three uh, steps, conceptual stage, it is actually the first phase, then after that uh, we need to develop a prototype products. But unfortunately in the industry and also in the university level, we are not using uh, this prototype. Actually prototyping is very important, you know what is prototyping and uh, its importance actually you know. How after developing a prototype product, we can solve uh, almost all the problems, and we can identify the uh, the failures of that uh, product or service. Then we can develop this product or service. Then actually, this is the there are two methods we have discussed: uh, traditional methods and uh, modern methods. There are six steps in traditional method, but four steps in modern method. Okay, then uh, the first step screening is their preliminary evaluation and uh, how to do a market survey. 
why do we need to conduct market surveys? Uh, likewise, how to plan a market survey, we have discussed. So I think uh, these things are very, uh, it's easy to understand. So uh, shall we move to the next part? This one, uh, it is about online surveys. So I think uh, uh, the internet connection is very low in our university, so there will be some problems. Anyway, under this uh, lecture, under this uh, topic, we have discussed how to conduct uh, an online survey. We have discussed some, uh, the general one is Google Forms. Out of that, we have discussed some uh, advanced methods. So, uh, like Soho survey, a survey monkey like uh, things we have discussed, and uh, some sampling methods also discussed. ISO 2859 methods, how to get samples uh, using the population size. This is actually a, a very good uh, sampling plan, which is uh, accepted internationally. So, decide marginal error also discussed. Uh, how to calculate the desired marginal error. And this is the equation. You need not to remember this equation. If you have a question for your paper, I will give, uh, I will give this equation. Then about the questionnaire, how to develop questions. Uh, standardized questionnaires, these things also discussed. Uh, actually this type, uh, these slides, these slides are also important. Uh, in developing questionnaires, so self-administered questionnaires and interview administered questionnaires, and how to design a questionnaire, uh, type of questions, there are, there are three types, open-ended, close-ended and contingency questions. So what are the differences in between these questions uh, and uh, how to use these questions we have actually discussed. And Likert scale is a report one, it is also discussed and uh, six point, seven point Likert scales are available. And uh, what are the important factors in designing, how to use language, how to use, how to select questions. And what are the fa important factors. Uh, the how to get ethical clearances, ethical problems also discussed. Any problem? Prashna Tiradu Mehari? Prashna Tiradu? Okay. Okay, let's move to the fourth lecture. This is uh, very important and uh, I think uh, sampling plan, uh, we discuss how to do sampling, probability plan, sampling plans are there, non-probability sampling, everything we discussed. And uh, there are five uh, probability sampling methods. Probability, I, I am not going to explain these things, I think you, it's very easy to understand. So. And we discussed the sample, how to uh, use several sampling plans together. 
several sampling methods together. This is actually a very good sample for the aircraft. And non probability sampling methods. Four non probability sampling methods we discussed. Convenient sampling. Okay, this is a uh, fifth one uh, from this slide. Uh, we have started to discuss uh, some uh, very important topics. As uh, we discussed, there are there are three major phases. There are three. Uh, there are six steps in. Uh, in traditional product development process, definition phase, preliminary design, final design, pilot production. Uh, likewise, there are six steps. And uh, under the experimental designs, what is why do we need to have experimental designs and uh, its importance? What is replication and randomizing blocking? Likewise, and the first one we discuss one factor experimental method. It also called as trial and error method, and uh, there are some examples. And what are the disadvantages? Then we move to statistical food production, uh, food product designing, and its advantages under that factorial designs uh, we discussed. So uh, here, this is very important to remember uh, how to nomenclature, how to identify the factorial experimental designs. I think you are familiar with the designs, uh, how to uh, write the designs. The N means number of factors here and M means number of players. So we have discussed several examples and uh, today also I will discuss. And uh, in this example, you can see uh, there are three, uh, what do you call the ingredients and we are going to check at two levels. So how many factors are there? There are three factors and we are going to check these factors into uh, two levels. So two to the power three, we can get uh, then uh, number of levels two, number of factors here and three. So two to the power three means total it is eight. So these are the uh, outputs. You can see there are eight designs. And this is uh, here you can see the eight designs and plus one and minus one means minus one means the lower amount, plus one means actually the highest amount. It means sometimes you can use uh, if it is a uh, T, then you can minus one mean gram pahat dal When we, sometimes we are going to check here, we are going to check at two levels. It means gram paha, gram the have check and on Then uh, five grams means minus one, plus one means ten grams. So you can write minus five, like, sorry, five and ten. It is difficult to write. That's why we are using uh, zero, one, or one, or minus one and one, or zero, one, like. Uh, some standard methods we use to write. And uh, interactions also discussed, how to get interactions uh, in this picture you can see. This is the optimum level actually, uh, there are eight samples. So this is the optimum level. Then uh, we discuss some uh, N minus P designs, it means uh, also known as a half factorial design. The name is 
half factorial this idea you can see half then uh, two in factorial designs has has been modified to develop this half factorial design what is the importance of uh, this half factorial method when we use the fact one of two factor methods here you can see the example we have to do 32 samples but uh, when it comes to half factorial design uh, we have to do only 16 samples it means almost half so it's uh, less time consuming less uh, cost effective there are so many advantages so you can use half factorial designs as well the three factor design is uh, we discuss i think uh, i'm not going to no, no need to explain these things uh, how to get uh, i'm not asking you to draw these type of diagrams so don't worry you need not to uh, remember these diagrams and you need only to understand what are the factorial designs and how to select those design in terms of the application actually and uh, in an industrial level or the laboratory level it means how to use these theories in a practical way so this is very important and uh, the, there is a method called mixed factorial design under this method also we can uh, develop uh, sampling plans so uh, here we can use two factors at different levels together as an example you can see uh, there are two levels two means and uh, here we can use three levels okay together we can check this is the diagram uh, you need not to remember this one and uh, it's all about mixed factorial designs and factorial designs excuse and, uh, me oh Sir, me mixed factorial design ka example range uh, tak explain karan puluan na. Example. Here, here you can see the mixed factorial design. Then, as we discuss in the factorial method, the two means this two number of factors or levels. 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 Then n means the factors. So uh, sometimes we can check uh, there are in product designing we are going to change raw materials, and with that we can change the uh, physical parameters. Sometimes temperature, pH. Then uh, we can use some uh, we can use factorial methods and uh, Taguchi's method for that one. That is no problem at all but he, in this method also we can apply here you can see we are going to two factors at two levels then uh, three factors sorry one factor at three level maybe temperature then uh, all together two to the power means four multiplied by three how many trials do we need to conduct 12 trials Right. It of the example like a canne me do laha gandavi dia. You can download the ara. So many sources are available. Or if you are interested, I can give you. And in the mini tablets of tears also you can get the designs. The photo make a good may level like this. Chera orin atri sa mamay ba gan vena. If you need, you can find. You can find from Google. 
and there are some books and literature available for this factorial design right either factorial design එකෙදි කරන්නේ අපි raw materials උත් වෙනස් කරන්න පුළුවන් අපිට ඕන නම් temperature වගේ condition වෙනස් කරන්න පුළුවන් නැත්නම් raw material එක වෙන level එක check කරන්න පුළුවන් අපි දැන් හිතනවා සීනි අපි දානවා සීනි ලුණුයි අපි මිල්ක් දානවා වෙන level එකේ ඒකට අපිට all together we can check එහෙම නැත්නම් අපිට industry එකේදී raw materials උත් අපි වෙනස් කරනවා temperature උත් වෙනස් කරනවා पैकेजी मेटल उत्तरास करना है बट एक में आगे डिजाइन ये कर रहा है ना पूरा, so we can use uh, several factors together, right? Understood? Okay. then we discuss about orthogonality it is also a very important topic okay orthogonality uh, what is the difference between uh, factorial methods and orthogonal designs i think you are familiar with orthogonal designs there are two factors and uh, orthogonality means in these two factors we can uh, multiply these two factors together then the summation of this multiplication should be zero for these vectors this is actually a mathematical part you need not to uh, prove these things you what do you what uh, do you need to uh, do is remember what is orthogonality that it is actually in independent design if it is orthogonal design you know this uh, likewise the sum of these factors should be zero and an estimate and the main effect and interactions independently that is the uh, most important thing and you can read if you need more details this is so Here also, this is very good examples. There are three factors, and we are going to check these three factors at uh, two levels, minus one and one. So you can see what happened when we multiply a, a b, a c, and b c. They all together. The, the, the finally, the, the, the summation is zero. So it means this is actually an independent design. Then this should be a orthogonal design. right how to write the orthogonal designs factors runs uh, the runs means with this example we can discuss a number of rows and number of columns okay uh, i think uh, you know these things so there are three factors and, and uh, with the number of factors here you can see number of parameters means factors here number of levels if we have five factors and we can check at two levels so how many uh, so what is the design a laid design so if we have 10 factors and we can check at three four three levels uh, then l18 design then we can download the l18 design from internet and this is for uh, l9 design so how to uh, there are four factors and uh, it should there are uh, three levels we are going to check so how many factors for then level 3 so l9 is the appropriate design to select so you can see the l9 design here as an example and how the raw materials are changed so actually you know this factorial method and 
orthogonal design and Taguchi's method. These things are belongs to engineering designs. I think uh, I have given some examples in uh, aircraft designing and some uh, boat uh, ship engine designing. Like though, likewise, the very they have used these concepts for engineering design. But now we are using uh, this type of important designing for product designing. So. Uh, it's somewhat difficult to understand the mathematical part, so you need not understand. That's why I propose to, you need to select the design and the design you can download from the imprint. Right. And the applications and advantages we discussed. And uh, Taguchi's design, actually he's a, a researcher and he has found this design, Taguchi's design, the orthogonal designs and Taguchi's designs are different. Taguchi's design has found, have found by Taguchi. He's, uh, and, uh, when he's conducting a telecommunication project. So uh, it is belongs to uh, orthogonal design. There are 20 arrays, 20 designs are available. So out of these 20, you know the 18 uh, are orthogonal, but other two, they are not orthogonal, right? Then uh, you will have question, uh, MCQ question. All Taguchi's arrays are orthogonal, so it should. Um, it's actually a wrong statement. So in this time, you don't have MCQs. Don't worry. Okay. Then L uh, nine and twenty seven are not orthogonal. Other eighteen arrays are orthogonal. Then uh, noise factors and control factors are important. Control factors we can control, but noise factor is very difficult to control or we can't control the ambient temperature, sunlight, humidity. It is very difficult to control, but the raw material types, temperature, we can control. So these factors are important in product designing. And in Taguchi's orthogonal array application, three stages are there. System design, parameter design, and total design, you can read. And uh, this is actually a summary based on the number of factors and levels, this is the design, right? In factorial design form and uh, actually uh, in, uh, in, uh, when it comes to two factors at two levels, uh, the factorial design and Taguchi's design, the outcome is similar. But you can see uh, if we have 15 factors and we, can, we are going to check at two levels, then you have to do 32,768 trials in factorial design, but only 16 trials for Taguchi's design. That is, that's actually important. And we can check the uh, interaction effect also. This is, these are the importance of Taguchi's designs. That's why uh, in, in every hour of the world, they are using Taguchi's method in design. Steps and uh, Taguchi's design. You know, I am not going to read these things again. And L4 design. So uh, please be careful if you have a question regarding the product designing. Suppose you have three factors, and I am asking you have three factors, and please check these three factors at two levels. Then you can select the L4 design or any. Uh, factorial design, then you have to mention what is the reason behind your selection. Due to what reason you have selected this method and uh, you can draw this graph and this is very important. You have to write the design. Okay. This is not important. Anyway, you have to write the design. If I ask a question, Please uh, discuss your result. If you have three factors and we are going to check these three factors at two levels. So please uh, identify the appropriate design and briefly discuss. Then what you have to do is you have to select the design and you have to analyze the design. And uh, this outcome should be there and reason should be there. Right? You need to, to mention all these designs. 
we have tau we have factorial designs we have orthogonal designs we have tau is design out of three design this is the most uh, the advantages of design there are three factors so i need not i need uh, i don't need these things so what i wanted to know the reason behind the selection and outputs and uh, uh, the brief in description description Loss function, uh, Taguchi's loss function. This is the target LSL and US list. They are so I think these things are easy to understand. So this is a very good example for that one. We need this uh, uh, this quality, but lower uh, specification is there and upper specification level is there. So I normally we consume these uh, three uh, oranges. But we need only uh, this one, so there are some losses. So in Taguchi's uh, quality loss function, we can calculate the, uh, the loss. We can quantitatively calculate. Then I think the most uh, interesting part of this lecture series, uh, color measurement. So it is very easy to understand uh, colors and uh, what are the benefits of measuring colors. There are three types of foods, opaque, translucent and transparent. Okay. Then we have discussed each types of food examples and import parameters. This is very important. What is hue? You should know what is hue, what is shade, what is the difference between shade and tone. Likewise, uh, these technical terms are important and we discuss uh, the Munsell color chart. Uh, you know the hues and how to calculate hues from, uh, from uh, right to left or left to right. It is important. Then we can calculate the uh, chroma hue and value by using this example, using this one cell color chart. There are, we have discussed some examples. The one is uh, 8R. How to write it? 8R. Why? Normally we use one cell color chart from left to right. We read from left to right. Okay. Then the second example it is 9G. Third one, 7.5 P. If we read this one from here to here, then 7.5 R B. But it is wrong. The correct answer is 7.5 P. How many colors we have uh, in a similar hue? And what is luminance? What is chroma? All these things we discuss. And uh, here you can see a, an example for a color. This color, how to write? You know how to write it now uh, by using this month's and color chart. Okay. Then uh, we discuss some examples. Uh, now you can write the color of these three uh, food items. Then shade, tone, and tint. Shade means the color plus black. If shade is high, you know it is somewhat blackish color. If tone is high, it is it should be a, a gracious color. If it is a uh, when it comes to tint. It is the a combination of base color plus white. So high tint means uh, light in color and brightness. Okay. Alagi, you, do you have any question? Any clarifications?
and the color space assign for you. How to select color space and what are the differences in between C, M, I, K, R, G, B, uh, H, S, V color spaces. So uh, we discuss these things. Uh, there are some calculations. Here you can calculate uh, LAB values and delta E color difference also you can calculate. Don't remember the equations. If you have question, I will give you all the equations and details you need to uh, only calculate. At the end of this uh, session, I will uh, give you some instructions in answering my, my questions. Then troubleshooting is very, very important. How to do, shoot the troubles and we discuss how it happens, how it begins uh, with the failure. So under this uh, troubleshooting, uh, there are several steps and uh, we have discussed time series analysis. Under time series, there are several types, trend analysis, cyclical analysis, seasonal variations and irregular uh, variations. You can see uh, the example diagrams here. And, uh, the, we have discussed some uh, examples, how to draw time series analysis. And uh, in some time series analysis, you can see different phases, uh, prosperity phase, decline phase, depression phase, and recovery phase. Likewise, uh, we have discussed. And how to apply, when we apply time series analysis in process quality control, uh, likewise, there are like some, so many applications in time series analysis and trend analysis, actually, this is very common. Uh, we have discussed with these examples in most, uh, in all, all, almost all analysis, even in COVID analysis, we are using trend analysis. And moving average, uh, we have discussed some calculations. Together, we uh, conduct some uh, moving average examples. So, how to calculate it? And uh, uh, some mini tab applications also discussed. You need not to remember, and you just wanted to. I just wanted you to understand how to apply these theories in a practical way. So, you will have actually very practical questions tomorrow. There will be two questions, all both questions are practical applications. So, you need not to remember these uh, uh, columns in this graph tables so it's, it should not happen uh, i am not going to ask these theories then the finally it's failure analysis uh, there are some failures it is actually failure analysis came from our uh, in our religions and our histories it's available how to analyze failures, but here we discuss it is in a scientific aspect. So uh, importance of failures and uh, you can remember what happened to Wright brothers. They actually developed this failure analysis officially in uh, 1908. They found this some um, failure analysis. We have discussed Ishikawa diagram, failure modes and effect analysis and faulty analysis. Right now to apply it, um, there are uh, we have discussed uh, there are around two L analysis methods, but out of these uh, two L, we have discussed only these two. So I think you are in a very good position to apply these uh, analytical methods in a very good manner. So failure modes and effect analysis, how to conduct this, it is very important. You better read these things and try to do it in a practical way. 
and how to give numbers, determine its severity and likelihood of occurrence. I think we discussed it some example. Okay, prescribed number. And here, very good example here. I think we have discussed it in uh, potential failure modes, failure effects, and severity and likelihood occurrence. Severity means the damage. Occurrence means frequency. Right? We can justify these things. And uh, this is the food application here. Uh, in developing a, an omelette or other steps, right? Then with these steps, you can identify the possible failures and its severity and frequency. Then after multiplication of all these things, we can get the RPA number. Right. This is very important. You have to practice these uh, things in how to conduct failure modes analysis. And uh, the another method, fault tree analysis. It is actually based on fault basic uh, fault tree structure. And we use some uh, standard symbols here. So likewise, uh, fault tree analysis uh, is also important. So I think we, we have discussed these things uh, under the principles of product development lecture course module so if you have questions I can give answers but don't ask the questions types of questions I'm not ready to give answers okay okay then I found some mistakes you have conducted in answering question papers uh, so uh, for tomorrow paper, you will have one hour to write answers. Then 15 minutes to read. We call it as reading time. You will have 15 minutes reading time. And one hour uh, time for the answering. Then another one hour for uploading. Then all together you have two hours and 15 minutes. But the, the actual actual time for, for questions is around one hour. So my uh, suggestion is please use the reading time carefully. So, so in last time you had my paper and in indigenous processing. You had a question, I think you can remember this, that, that question uh, regarding a boat, freezer. Then uh, there was a question, uh, name, uh, give some examples for value-added food products. So you, there were some questions, they were, they were very good answers, but out of uh, those answers you have given developing fish oil, developing fish sausages. So can we develop sausages inside a boat? It's not practical. So you better to read the questions carefully and give your answers. And don't try to copy paste. I found some mistakes, uh, very similar answers in indigenous paper. Uh, I can't remember, exactly remember the question. But there was a question, uh, but you all have, more, almost all the students have just copied somewhere and pasted it. But my question is different. So most of the students don't have marks for that question. So do, don't copy paste. You all can get A plus for this, for this paper. It's very, very easy. You have more time to answer. So please read the questions carefully. Right, that is my first advice. Then, uh, sometimes you can, you, you will have different answers. Perhaps the answer is, the my answer is no, but your answers might be yes. But if, if you have given an answer, please provide the clarification, so your uh, suggestions. 
So the, it is very important. So normally uh, I prepare my uh, marking scheme after receiving your answer scripts. So uh, therefore, if it is a yes or no, but you need to justify the your answer. And uh, I will show you how to uh, use the mini tab software. I think you may heard this software, mini tab. You can use mini tab for any uh, designing. Yeah, I think I have discussed this one later with you. So uh, if you have this software, you can use this software for tomorrow paper if you have question. So if you don't have the software, I can give you the link. And if you don't have, don't worry. You can write answers. If you have this one, it will be added an advantage if I give a question. Uh, I'm not sure you will have a question regarding this area. So you can get easily. Here you can see stat. DOE. DOE means design of experiment. Then you can see factorial designs are there, uh, response surface designs are there, mixture designs, Sakuchi's designs are there. When it comes to factorial design, you can design, create factorial design. Then from here, now you can see number of factors, it's two factors, three factors you can select. Then design you have to select, whether it is a half fraction factorial designs, you can remember n minus p, half fraction fact half uh, factorial design or oh, it is a full one then you press ok and you can get the design it's very easy to get if it is a taguchi's design you can get number of factors maybe five and at which level we are going to test three levels then design uh, l to 27 then you can get taguchi's design here Okay, this is very easy. So, uh, you have permission to use this software. So, uh, if you have, you can use. If you don't have, please contact me. I will give you the software. Okay, and uh, my second advice is don't copy paste. It was six. second one is don't copy paste. Third advice is please write your answers. Uh, in in a point form. So sometimes uh, students have in your answer scripts there are more than 10 15 pages. Uh, and some students they have only one two page, but they have very good answers. So don't write all histories, all the methods. <laughs> I don't need not to. Uh, repeat those theories. So, if you have a question like this, uh, uh, you have uh, you are going to design a food product. There are five factors, and you are going to check at three levels. Then uh, comment on this statement and briefly discuss. So, uh, in this question, what you have to do is the so first you have to select. Since there are five factors at two levels, we are going to select this method. You can select factorial design. You can select half factorial design. You can design, decide orthogonal design, or you can use uh, Taguchi's design, or maybe mixed design. So whatever the design you have to write, I am going to select this method due to this reason, and then write the uh, design and explain it. You need not to explain. This type of designs are available. These are the advantages. These are the disadvantages. We can use this type of software. Don't try, don't try to write these things. If you have questions, you can uh, answer, you can justify uh, the reason behind your selection. I use this design because in this design we have to do 60 trials, but in my one, they are only 16 trials. So it is economical, time consumer, time efficient method. So that's why I have selected this method like this. This is the design. 
right class okay and uh, the fourth point uh, sometimes in tomorrow paper you have you have to think and write you have to think and write so there will be different answers so don't try to get answers from internet or from your notes etakonde deep notes na dine ek dala tar nan dine ne deep ek design ne ka nan dine ne say your copy paste karan ne paathe idu mathe right etakota one hour is more than enough uh, try to answer within one hour and upload if you have any question any technical problem please contact me or send me an email or even whatsapp message by mentioning your failure right then i can uh, consider your request okay that's all uh, from my side i hope you all can get a plus for this course module if there are 29 a pluses i don't mind i will give you my marks mama hitala nodu karanni ne right questions to have patience if you have patience please ask or if not we can wind up no questions okay then uh, good luck for you all uh, try to answer this uh, the, the two questions carefully and please read the questions one or twice or thrice it will add an added advantage for your marks okay thank you very much for your participation today and if you have question please contact me thank you best of luck